Item number, SCP-6787, Level 2 Restricted, Containment Class, Safe, Disruption Class, Dark, Risk Class, Caution, Special Containment Procedures, Access to Sub-Level 13 of Site-87 has been sealed behind a steel plate and concrete by order of Director Tristan Bailey. Due to a risk of personnel becoming trapped in SCP-6787 despite this, travel between sub-level 12 and sub-level 14 is only to take place via elevator at this time. Description: SCP-6787 refers to sub-level 13 of Site-87. Prior to SCP-6787's discovery in early 2022 during routine maintenance, Site-87 did not have a sub-level designated 13, instead incrementing from sub-level 12 directly to sub-level 14. SCP-6787 is only accessible via Site-87's main stairwell and lacks elevator access. The door to SCP-6787 is marked with the Foundation insignia, with Department of Abnormalities archive division engraved beneath. Sublevel 13 resembles a public library. Over 30,000 volumes of literature are believed to exist within SCP-6787, and it bears several amenities common in public libraries. Also present within SCP-6787 are a book deposit slot on the rear wall of SCP-6787. It has been welded shut, with caution signs placed around it in several languages. Several pieces of seating, most of which are intact, including two sofas and an antique reading chair. However, personnel will routinely refuse to use any seating, citing an instability with the furniture that they have not been able to elaborate on, and either lean against the walls or sit on the floor to rest. A skylight in the center of the structure, with light levels corresponding to an overcast day consistently filtering through it. Directly beneath the skylight is a section containing several tabletop games, apparently available for lending similar to other media in the library. These games are all missing crucial pieces such as dice, tokens, and game boards. A circulation desk, which, to date, has not been located. Several members of personnel report seeing the circulation desk, but are unable to locate it when returning to the area where it was sighted. A television with a built-in Betamax player is present by a pair of microfiche machines. Despite this, no Betamax tapes have been found within SCP-6787. Similar to the book deposit slot, the slot for inputting the tape has been fused shut. The majority of the literature and media within SCP-6787 is non-anomalous, albeit of questionable origin, as media dating from as recently as 2021 has been located within. The exception is within the local history section. Media from this section is designated SCP-6787-A. SCP-6787-A instances purport to depict and detail, if occasionally dramatize, the history of the Nexus that Site-87 is located in, Sloth's Pit, Wisconsin, Nexus 18. However, several details within SCP-6787-A instances are erroneous or contradictory. A table of selected instances follows. SCP-6787-A Instance Jackson Sloth, an autobiography. Purported contents. An autobiography of the founder of Sloth's Pit, Jackson Sloth. Date of publication is listed as 1893, three years after Sloth's purported death. Notable deviations. Aside from the date of publication, a large portion of the work details Sloth's brutal massacre and subsequent pataphysical erasure of native peoples within Douglas County, Wisconsin. In reality, Sloth had relatively good relations with the native peoples in the area, even learning some of the Ojibwe language in an attempt to integrate them into what would become Sloth's Pit. The tone of the work indicates that the author is proud of his accomplishments. SCP-6787-A Instance Roots Grown by Blood by James Patterson Purported Contents A true crime novel detailing murders committed by Jeffrey Hubble, a blood cultist and farmer who believed that human flesh could allow for a massive harvest. 
notable deviations. The novel describes Hubble as murdering indiscriminately and burying upwards of 20 bodies within his field. Only 13 victims have been attributed to him. It is stated that Hubble's crimes went undiscovered until the killing of his family's dog and a local member of law enforcement in 2017. While accurate in spirit, it does not reflect actual events. SCP-6787-8 Instance A History of UFO Sightings in the Greater Superior Area Purported Contents An account of purported extraterrestrial activity around Superior and Sloth's Pit, Wisconsin. Notable Deviations No extraterrestrial activity has been confirmed to occur within NX-18. History of UFO sightings attributes the increased activity to the presence of the Jasper Sloth Nuclear Research Facility. No such place exists. SCP-6787-8 Instance A Life, Redacted by Nemo Footnote 1 Redaction in original text due to anti-memetic properties. Purported Contents A biography of a Foundation agent stationed at Site 87 until death from an unspecified cause in 2020. The agent's name is anti-memetic and cannot be perceived. Notable Deviations No agent matching the description given in the book has ever been stationed at Site 87. Her purported partner, Agent Toffelmeyer, denies knowledge of this individual, but has asked to keep this instance of SCP-6787-A. Request pending approval. SCP-6787-A Instance A court record of divorce proceedings between Cassandra Pike and Claude Mattings. Purported Contents as the title suggests, it is a record of all evidence and testimony within a divorce case between the two individuals. Both are Foundation personnel and have been married since 2018. Notable Deviations The primary reason given for divorce is listed as instability following the birth of their only child, Rose. Pike loses custody of her child to her husband. In reality, the Pike Maddings family have relocated to California to work on Project Lazarus. They have not been notified of the existence of this item. SCP-6787-A Instance Autopsy records of Dr. Catherine Jean Sinclair Purported Contents a pair of contradictory Foundation-issued autopsy reports. One has the date of death as October of 2020, and the cause of death as destruction of cranial tissue. The other lists the date of death as May of 2021, and lists the cause of death as blood loss due to a gunshot wound. Notable Deviations At both times, Sinclair was in mortal danger. In the former case, her left eye was destroyed, and in the latter, she needed to resort to thomic stasis until medical treatment could be rendered. Despite this, she is currently alive and works at Site 87. SCP-6787-A Instance A History of Hate in Douglas County, Wisconsin by the American Civil Liberties Union Purported Contents a work that portrays Sloth's Pit as a heavily conservative area, de facto ruled by the Family Church, a relatively inactive group of interest which modeled itself after conservative Christian teachings. They are listed as being responsible for several lynchings, hate crimes, and murders of sexual and racial minorities, overseen by a Father Reese. Notable Deviations among the victims are an Alexander Karakos and the Williams Twins, both corresponding to members of Foundation personnel. Blake Williams and Alejandro Carrasco have been in a relationship since December of 2021, which is listed as the date of their murder. It is unclear why Ruby Williams was targeted. SCP-6787-A Instance Black Autumn 3, Volume 1 and Volume 5 Purported Contents A pair of VHS tapes that purportedly show an anthology series depicting events which occurred during October 2019 concerning Halloween-related phenomena appearing in nexuses around the world. Volumes 2, 3, and 4 have not been located. Notable Deviations the episodes portray the Foundation attempting to, in some way, destroy or neutralize the anomalous elements of the Nexuses they control or have involvement in. 
Puerto Extraño Brazil has all extraterrestrial life exterminated. The non-human population of Esterberg is killed in a Foundation-backed pogrom. Extradimensional areas such as Three Portlands and the complex apartments in New York are brought into regular space in such a way that they destroy the areas they are connected to, and a nuclear bomb is dropped down the bottomless pit within NX-18 in an attempt to neutralize it. SCP-6787-8 Instance, Site 87, A History, by Philip Verhoeten. Purported Contents Purports to tell the history of Site 87 in Sloth's Pit, Wisconsin following its establishment in 1907. Notable Deviations Sloth's Pit was not known to the larger Foundation prior to the discovery of SCP-097 in 1969, and Site-87 was not established until 1976. None of the personnel listed are known to ever have been Foundation personnel. The only individual of note mentioned is Zachary Bellwether, a purported director of Site-87, who ran for governor of Wisconsin three times between 1945 and 1960, losing the primary each time. SCP-6787-8 Instance, An Index of Treason Purported Contents a document purported to be published by the Foundation, listing several individuals who had committed treason against the organization since its establishment. All current and former Site-87 personnel are listed, as are personnel at Site-43, Site-120, and several other sites which deal with the containment of nexuses. Notable Deviations the only known contents include references to Director Bailey's brother, SCP-1483 Commissioner Thomas Bailey, as purposely collapsing SCP-1483 and defecting to the Antarctic Empire. Upon recording this data, Director Bailey ordered the volume destroyed, and SCP-6787 sealed. Despite being sealed as of March 2022, personnel traversing Site 87 between Sublevel 12 and Sublevel 14 have sporadically found themselves within SCP 6787, leading to current containment procedures. All 20 personnel who have become trapped this way have been recovered. In the process, they have retrieved several other instances of SCP 6787 A, with titles including when Words Fail, The Loss of SCP-5109 and the Collapse of U.S. Foundation Infrastructure by Harold R. Blank, Foundation Archivist. A More Bottomless Pit, The Economic Failure of Sloth's Pit, Wisconsin by Simeon Adler. Death of Summer, The Camp Krakow Disaster by Isaiah H. Pickman, Archivist Emeritus. I. H. Pickman's 001 Proposal, Erasing the Word of God. These items are currently not being studied, per order of Director Bailey. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Tannis Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.